Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Alexis Camiro and I will be describing how to create models for multiple samples using Wimper. There are three cases that we will be covering here related to using multiple samples. The first one will be creating fluid for fields with compositional gradients. There will be three different samples and all these three different samples will be having a set of PBT data. Second, we will evaluate the injection of different types of gases. In this case will be the evaluation of swelling test with CO2 and nitrogen. And finally, we will be doing the third exercise related with comparing phase envelope for different types of fluids. First, it is important to know a little bit about Wimper and especially related to the composition. Now, every time that we have a sample, we need to define a new composition in the system. The composition can be defined several times over Wimper and there is no limitation over that. Can be defined in different ways. Can be defined through calculations at the upper menu or can be defined through several icons in the program. The sequencing is really important given that Wimper is working based on the order that you define. Experiments that are at the top of your WinCopro project will be done first and experiment at the bottom will be the last one to be calculated. Now, every time that you define a new sample, all the experiment below that sample will be calculated based on the composition. The example that we can see in this slide is pretty clear showing a project where you have three different samples and each of these samples have a set of experiments. Red one is an example of a black oil with the composition and all this section or all the block of all the calculation in this block are associated with this composition. Uh, the blue section is associated with the composition of volatile and the last one at the bottom is associated with the composition of condensate. Then the order that you define your composition and your experiment is very important when we are working with multiple samples. Now that we have a base for starting doing our tutorial, let's start to do some practical examples. Our first exercise is going to define different, different fluids for different samples and also all the experiments associated with that. Uh, as a starting point, I have a black oil model and these basically have the composition, saturation pressure and several experiments that we normally have when we build a wind property. This is a kind of a standard procedure. Now I added also additional to that a swelling test for this experiment. Now if we want to build a project with multiple samples, we just need to add a new composition and then add all the set of experiments related with that. Now we have our composition and we have our, our experiment then after the last experiment that we have that we have we need to add a new composition and the new set of experiments we can be adding this one by one for practical purpose i already create three different projects for three different fluids then basically i will be opening here the other two projects that is a volatile and condensate oil and I will be adding this to the black oil project then. But you can add all this experiment uh, one by one 
I prefer to have a project for each of the fluid or each or for each sample and then just merge this in the final project for all of this. I will call this black coil with another name and uh, as a final project and then we will be adding all the projects here all the other samples now for doing this uh, and give it that I have open all the other projects I just need to go to any of these fluid and then in model operations allow me to copy everything or whatever I want from the project person then I will select everything it's important to copy the composition say ok now come back to the final project here we need to be careful that we copy this after the last experiment remember that the order is very very important now we say ok you see now my final project has two samples now I move to the last one copy the gas come and save and model operations and copy the last one with all the experiment associated with that for pay paste this I need to paste after the last experiment now as you see here pretty simple we have all the samples associated with that I will close this experiment this experiment now I have my final project you can save and run your model and then you will see all the experiment associated with each of one of the fluid that you have and even you can visualize the result of all of them now this is a, a very good example and it's a typical example when you have a compositional gradient in your reservoir and you have multiple uh, fluids with different type of PVT behavior uh, in your reservoir now this is this is covering the first exercise that we want now the next exercise that I want you to show you is another uh, important point or another important situation that you need to define another composition is when you are going to evaluate the different type of gas injection uh, for these cases for example the swelling test swelling test is is, is an is a it's an experiment that you add different amount of, of fluid or gas into your reservoir now for checking which fluids are, or which gas are you injecting you need to check in your composition which is your secondary secondary comp uh, composition here the secondary composition basically define what are you injecting now in this case we are injecting nitrogen and then my soil is test is in nitrogen now if I want to inject CO2, I need to define a new composition for the secondary component. For do that, I will be copy the composition original here. And as I mentioned before, the order that I follow is important. Go to the last swelling test. Now I have a new composition, but this one I will change it to be 100% CO2. Now I need to copy another swelling test for sure for doing the calculation and I'm going to paste this just after this. I will identify this with the CO2. Now I am going to be able to run this case. If you run this case now you see you have your swelling for nitrogen and your swelling for CO2. Swelling for nitrogen pretty high saturation pressure and for CO2 for sure will be a little more lower because as we know CO2 get miscibility to lower pressure than the nitrogen uh, with this uh, we explain a little bit when it's important for the swelling test and now we are moving forward to the last part that I wanted to show you it. Uh, if you want to comp compare phase envelope for this then what you need to do is simple add a face envelope for each of them and then you will be able to see the face envelope and at the end also you can do a comparison because you can see superimpose the, the
the three phase envelope for this three fluids. Phase envelope just have to be after the composition, can be in any position, it's not very important. I just going to add a two phase envelope for this fluid, two phase envelope for the volatile oil, and a two phase envelope for the condensate. Now, pretty simple, just save it, run it, and then we can see phase envelope for each of these exercises. And WIMPRO allow you to, at uh, the end, have a superposition and you can compare phase envelope for each of these fluid that you have. Uh, this is all that I have. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much.